Um, what I would like to do is uh, not talking much more about open air uh, now in a, in a longer sense, but just highlight really some issues in terms of outlook. And we, we discussing over the last days, we had a number of meetings. We have another meeting today afternoon. We see really two main strands for open air, open air plus actually, but it's, we, you know, open air is our main infrastructure. We, have, we see two main strands. The one strand, the main strand, is really open air as an operational infrastructure. That really makes it special. It's already working. It has invested a lot of money, a lot of effort to um, get direct connections to EC databases and um, so to exchange data and information uh, with Cordis and, and other databases. So it's really it's a working infrastructure and, and that will help really to support the expanded open access policy of the European Commission and the European Research Council. And we have seen the, the vision and the plan for Horizon uh, 2020, 60%, 100%. Um, the second one is really open air plus in terms of, you know, continuing dialogue with all the different stakeholders. That is something which has been stressed by, by panelists as well. And this um, does, on the one hand, address researchers, research project, project coordinators. Um, I'm not sure whether it has been mentioned, but over the last months, more than 2,000 letters had been sent out, of course, electronically, to project coordinators um, just to make aware of what they can do. And, and, you know, it's an enormous effort to get in and offer them at the same time support. I mean, not just saying you have to do something, but say, well, we have an easy way for you as a project and a project coordinator um, um, to, to deposit and to make your um, publications available than with institutional repositories, semantic repositories. So I was very glad to see during the conference that colleagues from the UK, from Edinburgh, already uh, sent an email around lists um, asking and encouraging for compliance with uh, repositories like Fred, you had also done before on another channel. So these are the kind of channels, and communication channels we need to use. And you have also seen Oya Riga from the archive, Cornell University Library. So the communication and the work on data exchanging with thematic repositories like the archive, um, UK PubMed Central, which will soon be Europe uh, PubMed Central as well, where we have very good connections to the EBI. Um, on, on, on making this happen, um, it's very important. Um, personally speaking, I see a main role for me to get really into the world of, you know, the university governing boards and presidential boards and so on to, to, to get more, more influence, more awareness of really what their role is um, in, in this process to do so. Open air really is kind of catalyst and instrument to make um, all, this, uh, all this happen. Um, we, what I also would like to highlight is really open air is not just, you know, putting a publication there and then you access a publication or read a publication. It has been made very clear by both Donatella, Yanis, and other, other colleagues what open air is doing. We are dealing with all kinds of research outputs, and a, a, a phrase had been used over the last day which I really like. It puts information in context. So it's not just the article text. It's data. It's linked object. Um, it will be digitized material in the humanities as well. So all types of material that is, that is really interlinked um, to, to offer them a, a place in the uh, open air infrastructure. And last but not least, where we really see our role is in um, keeping and expanding the international linkages of open air. This has been a European and a very Europe-based event, and I think it was okay to do this. Um, and, and, and we are very we are very happy to do this, but of course we have very strong links already to the international community, and we need to expand this link to the international community. Outside of Europe, we we use mainly Core, the Confederation of Open Access Repository, to do this. I will be personally with with Alicia Lopez Medina from Madrid at the end of next week in Buenos Aires. And we will be signing uh, with, with ministries there um, a similar network like Open Air in Latin America with the name La Referencia. And so this is really the opportunity for us. They, they are looking to Europe 
in a sense. And Commissioner Lady Cruz has sent a support letter to the Argentinian minister saying, well, we encourage you to go on this way and to work together uh, with our colleagues. So this international work that, of course, also expands uh, to the United States, to, to ch China, to Japan, uh, India, and so on, that's going on, and I guess it's a very, very important point for open air. This has been open air. Now we come to the closure of the conference, and what I really would like to do is, is to thank to give thanks to people. And I was very grateful for, for Carlos already um, receiving the thanks from the European Commission to the, to the Open Air Project. But I would like to thank um, all speakers, panelists, moderators who really helped to make the Open Air event a success. I would like to thank you, the participants. The majority, I'm not sure the majority, but a greater part, of course, are open-air participants, which shows how large the consortium is, and some of you have come over with two or three colleagues, which is really great, um, giving all the virtual means we have coming together on a, on a personal face-to-face -face basis is, is, is very important. Um, but this event and the conference over the last two days, and I mentioned some satellite meetings before and afterwards, would not have been possible without a local organizing committee. And we had a very good collaboration, I would like to mention this, with the EU office um, of the university, uh, which is important for us, um, not doing everything, you know, just as a single institution. We uh, try to maintain and expand this kind of collaboration on the campus as well. But very particular, I would like to name uh, five colleagues and I would like to ask, ask them to come forward. And I need, I think, the, uh, the chocolate over there. <laughs> so what I, I would like to name, and now I need to be very careful, very sensitive, so to read the names, not to forget. Uh, there have been many more whom I will not mention now. But I would like to mention and ask to come forward uh, Birgit Schmidt, um, the scientific manager of Open Air, who has really organized it uh, here with, with the team um, on the spot. You are not coming forward. Birgit Schmidt, Birgit. Hm? Yeah, Gerlinde Schorstietz, it's a long way. You can already start. Gerlinde Schorsch-Tietz, who works in my secretariat and as, as, as an assistant. And it's mainly thanks to her that you had the wonderful arrangements all around the design and yesterday night for the dinner. And I think that deserves a special applause uh, to her as well. Kat Katharina, Katharina Müller, who, you have seen her all the time. She has been everywhere. Max, Maxi Putlitz, um, who has done a lot, a lot of work and hundreds, hundreds, maybe thousands of email beforehand and afterwards to organize everything. Thank you very much, Maxi. <laughs> and last but not least, Najla. I, Najla Redberg, where are you? <laughs> So it's, um, it, it has been Natchla, together with colleagues from Athens, uh, who took care of a lot of the videos uh, you have seen yesterday. And uh, just to mention that the last video arrived yesterday at 2 o'clock. So you can imagine that has been a kind of stress factor. So, and before I speak further, I just want to hand out chocolate, which is really great. With this, the uh, event comes to an end. Um, there will be, I understand, some kind of lunch or packed lunch downstairs for those who will, who will leave, who will travel now home. Um, as I said, we have other meetings today afternoon, at least some of us. 
so I wish you a very safe trip home. Thank you again for coming here, and remember Göttingen. Thank you.